Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, February 5th of the fifth week of Ordinary Time. We celebrate the memorial of St. Agatha, Virgin and Martyr. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With, with your spirit. spirit. Now, biblical times, a lot of things happened. A lot of good things happened. A lot of good, not so good things happened. But Jesus came along and tried to change those things that were bad. So as we begin, let's kind of reflect on our own journey through life, how important it is that we keep on learning from all the people God sends into our lives. For the times we wanted to give up on learning, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the Virgin Martyr St. Agatha employ your compassion for us, O Lord, for she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The elders of Israel and all the leaders of the tribes, the princes and the ancestral houses of the children of Israel, came to King Solomon in Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord's covenant from the city of David, which is Zion. All the people of Israel assembled before King Solomon during the festival in the month of Ithanim, the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the priests took up the ark. They carried the ark of the Lord and the meeting tent with all the sacred vessels that were in the tent. The priests and the Levites carried them. King Solomon and the entire community of Israel, present for the occasion, sacrificed before the ark sheep and oxen, too many to number to count. The priests brought the ark of the covenant of the Lord to its place beneath the wings of the cherubim in the sanctuary, the holy of holies of the temple. The cherubim had their wings spread out over the place of the ark, sheltering the ark and its poles from above. There was nothing in the ark but the two stone tablets, which Moses had put there at Horeb. When the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel at their departure from the land of Egypt. When the priests left the holy place, the cloud filled the temple of the Lord, so that the priests could no longer minister because of the cloud since the Lord's glory had filled the temple of the Lord. Then Solomon said, The Lord intends to dwell in the dark cloud. I have truly built you a princely house, a dwelling where you may abide forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Lord, Lord go, go up, up to, to the, the place, place of, of your rest. rest. Behold, we heard of him at Ephrathah, we found it in the fields of Ja'ar. Let us enter into his dwelling. Let us worship at his footstool. Lord, Lord go, go up, up to, to the place, place of, your, of rest. your rest. Advance, O Lord, to your resting place, you and the ark of your majesty. May your priests be clothed with justice. Let your faithful ones shout merrily for joy. For the sake of David, your servant, reject not the plea of your anointed. Lord, Lord, go, go up, up to, to the, the place, place of, of your rest. rest. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. After crossing the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to the land of Genezareth and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In the book, No Greater Love, Mother Teresa told this story. It's worth hearing over and over and over again. She said, I'll never forget one day in Venezuela when I went to visit a family who had given us a lamb. I went to thank them, and there I found out they had a badly crippled child. I asked the mother, what is the child's name? The mother gave me a most beautiful answer. We call him teacher of love because he keeps on teaching us how to love. Everything we do for him is our love for God in action. 
And I'm sure many of us have seen teachers of love. Just look at parents and grandparents. Look in a hospital and you see people staying with their loved ones in the hospital, people that are suffering inside while their loved ones are either sick or getting ready to leave this life. All these things are love. Or how about that wonderful doctor or nurse? How about that person that comes in to clean the room, that takes the time to listen to someone who just has a story to tell? There are so many more signs of God's love in the world, we don't recognize them. I'd ask you simply today to stop and recognize signs of God's love in this broken world of ours. God bless. For those people that have been with us as we struggled, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For any of those dealing with any type of an addiction, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For children, both those born and those waiting to be born, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given, and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord extend the sacrifice in our hands for the for praise the and glory of his name. For, for our, our good, good and, and the good of God's, God's holy church. Loving God, may we always appreciate the blessings we have in this life. May we truly appreciate those people who send it to our lives to remind us of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. So they are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give to their faith. To the endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours. And so we truly join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death, O Lord, Lord until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Joseph D. Granteed Sr., Joseph J. Maranca, Joseph J. Leandri, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory are yours now and, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. A God who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously glant the drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.